Okay, ladies, this is the stone soup circle. You'll do it for once a day for a couple weeks, and then the very last day it's enacted with everyone bringing a little bit of chopped vegetables or herbs from their home, and then you'll hide them around the classroom in little bowls that you provide. Anyway, so I'm going to do the circle just as it would be done on a regular day. Once again, the challenge is that it's a big circle, but I want you to be able to see and hear me, and my voice is not the best, so I need to be close. So you're marching in a circle clockwise, like this. We travelers were marching, were marching along, tired and hungry, and singing this song. It's rumble and grumble and rumble it goes. It's rumble and grumble from stomach to toes. Do that twice. And then through the forest they saw a small light, and then in a clearing a village in sight. Now you're holding hands and also um, dancing in a circle. Travelers, come dance with me, celebrate and jubilee. Warmth and food, bed and more, all of this we have in store. Travelers, come dance with me, celebrate and jubilee. Warmth and food, bed and more, all of this we have in store. Still in a circle. The travelers, they marched to the center of town. We need fire, we need food, and a place to lie down. The villagers all from their windows did stare, and they hid all their food. And then with your foot, if you can see, and they hid all their food. So put your toe behind you, and they hid all their food because they wouldn't share. The mayor, the mayor did come to the travelers and said, "We haven't the wood." or the food, or a bed. Oh, said the travelers, we guess we're alone. We guess that we'll have to make soup from the stone. Soup from the stone, soup from the stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? Soup from the stone, soup from the stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? We're gonna be dragging a big iron cauldron so really lift it and kind of grunt a little. A big iron cauldron, the travelers they found, and three heavy stones, so smooth and so round. Lump, lump, lump. To fill it with water, they pumped and pumped and pumped. The villagers whisper, and you can say things like, wow, that's crazy. And they wonder, and they, stretch your head, really were stumped. Soup from a stone, soup from a stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? Soup from a stone, soup from a stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? Step, 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 step. First, they knocked on the woodcutter's door, and it really doesn't have to be this first, but during your actual enacting of stone soup, you want to bring wood for the fire. First, they knocked on the woodcutter's door. Knock, knock, knock. Any firewood here? No, there's no firewood here, I fear. But stone soup is something I simply must try, so here's a few sticks. Good luck and goodbye. Soup from a stone, soup from a stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? Soup from a stone, soup from a stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? Step, 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 step. So once again, clockwise, stepping four. Yeah, step, 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 four times. Next, they knocked on the, could be anything, but I usually do herbalist next. The herbalist store. Knock, knock, knock. Any salt and pepper here? No, there's no salt and pepper here, I fear. But stone soup is something I simply must try, so here's a little bit of salt and pepper. Good luck and good bye. 
Soup from a stone, soup from a stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? Soup from a stone, soup from a stone. How will they ever make soup from a stone? When you're saying that, you're playing the villager kind of, but look into the children's eyes and really be like, Wow, this is, you know, look, like, this is crazy. How is this going to happen? And they love it. They, they, they jump right into the feeling. So anyway, step, 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 step. Next, they knocked on the, could be potato, could be carrot, could be barley, could be garlic, could be anything. And so you get the idea. Um, here's a little whatever. Peas or carrots or corn. Good luck and goodbye. So then... Yeah, see, judged by how um, how much they're following along, or if they're kind of bored with it, then you can just start making the soup. So, then they stirred and they stirred and they stirred up the pot until it smelled good, tasted good, and was hot. Then the travelers announced, the stone soup is done. And then you should see how the people did come. They laid all the table, the cider and bread, and even the sleepiest Ooh, got out of bed. They ladled it out in bowl and in cup. They all sang their blessings. And they ate it all up. Then, the fiddle. The fiddlers, they came and they danced around the fire and they danced until even the mayor did tire. So you could fiddle and then encourage them to dance around um, them in their own spot. And once in a while, I'll grab someone's hand and kind of, is that do some go? Whatever. <laughs> okay. So then, ah, then the mayor comes. These are not travelers, but kings, mayor said, and I will be honored to offer them bed. So they washed all the dishes and laid things to right. They all thanked the travelers and wish them good night. And this is the down into my house I go motion. Travelers come rest your eyes, sleep until the pink sun rise. Shoulder youth and your load, then you walk the homeward road. So by the time I'm singing road, I'm all the way down, forehead to the floor. And then I usually Hum that song one more time. Okay, my computer's working overtime. I need to stop. Eight minutes. Wow. 